All right, so that's what happened back then. That's how the tribes, that's the, the history of the tribes leaving uh, the, the Middle East, so to speak, yep. coming over to what's today called North America. And that's the voyage that they went on. Right. And the Americas, period, and right. up in Canada and all that. You know, so, I mean, that's another part of history, you know, dealing with the chariots and all that. Yeah, because you got, yeah, you got a, Israelites up, that was up there in, in Canada, even to this day. Yep. You got a, a guy up there heavy. You got a lot of uh, North American Indian tribes up there. Yep. Ephraim, Ephraim's up there, all right, and then Judah even w went up there, okay? Yep. So the tribes are everywhere, man, you know? So you got more? 45th verse, for through that country there was a great way to go, namely of a year and a half. And that's how long it took to get over to the side of the world. And when you go back into the history, if the Lord is working with you and you read about Solomon and his navy and the uh, uh, Hiram, Hiram of Biff and, and uh, the Sidonian uh, um, uh, skillful navigators of, of the seas, it, it tells you that it took them three years to come over to the side of the world and to come back bringing goodly things, you know. And if the spirit of the Lord is working with you, you'll see it. Right. It took a, a year and a half coming, a year and a half going. A total of, of three, uh, three years, you know, and, um, and it says for through that country there was a great way to go, namely of a year and a half, and the same region is called Arsareth. Right, which is another, which is, which they say is a corrupt word for, um, for earth, you know, and then they say some, you know, some people say that, you know, because there's a controversy with the word, some people say it means a new region. You know, but overall, it's, it's, if, let's say it's, if it's a corrupt uh, Hebrew word for the word earth, Aratiza, so what? It's still the earth. You know, it's just another part of the earth that's not habitable. And, and that, that took place when the Most High uh, uh, separated the, uh, the continents or, or the uh, uh, land mass known as earth at the time. So the Most High separated that land over here. And kept the other lands over there to the, uh, in, the, in the east because the Lord had a purpose for those lands here at the end of times, in which we're in right now. Bring it out. Second Kings 17 and 18. Therefore the Lord was very angry with Israel and removed them out of his sight. There was none left but the tribe of Judah only. Also Judah kept not the commandments of the Lord their power, but walked in the statutes of Israel which they made. And the Lord rejected all the seed of Israel, and afflicted them, and delivered them into the hand of spoilers, until he had cast them out of his sight. For he rent Israel from the house of David, and they made Jeroboam the son of Nebat king. Right, and we just read uh, uh, up above that, I mean down below that, you know, how the Lord took the people or the children of Israel or, you know, the, the uh, kingdom of Israel out of the land of Samaria. Right. Okay? Right, and the reason was because they, they, they all went off. That's right. You know, even Judah, like during the time of Yahweh Shai, those scribes and Pharisees, they were going off because all Israel went off. So, but they were acting like they were righteous. And you know what? And scriptures like this was the reason why the Jews didn't accept the Israelite foreigners. That's what it said. Look, it said what? It said that all the tribes of Israel were cast out except for the tribe of Judah only. Right. But you know? But off. they still went off. Right. And I, and I got, I got Alright, bring it out. It's the, it's the book of Amos, chapter 6. So this is for you guys out there that say that only Judah, or only the so-called Negroes are Israelites. You the same guys back then you know, that was in Jerusalem that was saying that the Lord had cast the other tribes away, that those are heathens. And what do they call the Latin tribes and, and the North American Indian tribes? You guys are heathens. You guys are, you're Mamses. You are, you're Moabites and you this and you that. Which are what? Heathens. And that's what the Jews in Jerusalem were doing back then. No, nothing different. There's nothing different than what, what was going on back then than what's going on now. Mm -hmm. Just a different time. That's all. That's right. Amos chapter 6 verse 1. Woe to them that are at ease in Zion, and trust in the mountain of Samaria, which are named chief of the nations, to whom the house of Israel came. Pass ye into Calna and see, and from thence go ye to him if the great. Then go down to Gath of the Philistines. Do Be they better than these kingdoms, or their borders greater than your border? Ye that put far away the evil day, and cause the seed of violence to come near, that lie upon beds of ivory, and stretch themselves upon their couches and eat the limbs out of the flock and the calves out of the midst of the stall. Okay, con. That chant to the sound of the vial and invent unto themselves instruments of music like David that drink wine and bowls and anoint themselves with the chief ointments, but 
They, <laughs> hey, that's talking about Judah. So, because now as we reading about Jake, uh, the other tribes, Israel, Israel and the other Israel and the other tribes, they went into captivity, right under um, Solomon Ezra and the Assyrians. You had Judah, which was supposed to be their brother Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. They were living it up, man, yeah. and, and just being wicked and just flourishing, man. You know, partying. And that's what niggas do. Niggas party. So the Lord's saying, look, y'all didn't even grieve for your bro brother's Joseph. You know? And, 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 and man, see how this, see how this history is just coming together? Now read that again, brother. Come on. It says that drink wine and bowls and anoint themselves with the chief ointments. But they are not grieved for the affliction of Joseph. They are not grieved for the affliction of Joseph. Now, you know, Joseph is what? Ephraim and Manasseh. But then who's, who's the head tribe that brought the other tribes over here? Ephraim. Yep. You know, that brought. The, now, whenever you see Ephraim, Ephraim is synonymous with the kingdom of Israel. Right. You know, so it's speaking about all the tribes. You had another point, brother? Yeah, yeah Cun, like the brother said, speaking of all the tribes, because then you also had Gad and Reuben in them, right? Which when, when, when they were get, being conquered or whatever... J Jake didn't give a damn about that, man. And he was still to this day. Uh, uh, a matter of fact, I'm yeah. sorry, uh, the Buffalo soldiers, which were right. Judah, they were helping take the Gadites yeah. down. So they wasn't grieving for their brothers. Right. That's why you got certain Gadites that they ain't feeling Judah. I mean, but, you know, they're going to come together when they get the truth. But because of that, because of this right here, it happened back then and it happened back again today. Right. And a lot of you guys out there, like you guys that, that sit there and say that, oh, the, the Native American tribes and the, the Puerto Ricans, they're not Israelites. You were the same guys back then yep. that, that didn't care about the rest of the tribes when they went into captivity, right. when the Mosai brought the Assyrians against them. That's right. And then, and then you know, some of you guys that get mad because you say that the, I believe it was the Cherokees or some of them Gadites that had Judah in slavery. But you know what? According to the scriptures, you can have your brothers in slavery as an as a, uh, indentured servant. Yep. You know, and he will serve with you for a certain period of time. And after that, he would be let go free. You know, so it would, it have you, you have you slice it, man. Every all the customs go back to Israel, man. You guys are just you need to get over it. All right. We're not your motherfucking enemies. The enemy is a white man, the Edomites, the Moabites and the other nations. Yeah, but they want to save them. But those same jokers, they would, they would rather save the so-called white men, you know? Yeah, because you know what? You love Esau, but you hate yourself, bottom line. And then some of you guys out there, you know, you, you, you all just into the so-called Negroes. That's, that, look, the, just get over yourself, all right? The Lord uh, gave the, the uh, revelation of who the 12 tribes are, and you just got to deal with it. Just like you didn't want to accept it back then, you, you got to accept it now. And just because you say it ain't true doesn't make it so. Because the Israelites, the, the, 12, the 12 tribes are going to be gathered in the kingdom of heaven. Oh, I'm going to say, his brother got it. And scripture says, what if some did not believe? But the brother's going to bring it on out. Good. Yeah, like the, hey, well, that's the spirit. Yeah, yeah, the brother quoted, quoted it, Romans 3 and 3. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? The Most High forbid. Yea, let the Most High be true. But every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sins, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. Right, and then we didn't even get to the to the to the heart of of, of the document. We just hit some some points. There's all type of stuff that that's in there. But let's I'm gonna read this real quick, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna give I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it to you. Psalms. Seventy-seven, fifteen, I believe it is. All right. Uh, about Judah and Ephraim. Uh, oh, um, yeah. I thought at fifteen. It says Psalm seventy seven fifteen. Thou hast with thou hast with thine arm redeemed thy people. Thou hast with thine arm who's the arm? Yahweh Shai. Redeemed thy people. Who's thy people? The sons of Jacob and Joseph. The sons of Jacob and Joseph, because Joseph took who to him? Ephraim and Manasseh. So now who did Ephraim and Manasseh or really Ephraim? Uh, represent the rest of the tribes, Gad, Reuben, and the rest of the other tribes. That was it on that, right? Yeah. Habakkuk chapter 1, verse 5. Behold ye among the heathen, and regard, and wonder marvelously, for I will work a work in your days, which ye will not believe, though it be told you. Right, so the Lord said he will work a work in your day that you won't believe, though it be told you. And what's that work? That the Lord's going to bring back these tribes that you don't, don't want to hear. 
and you won't believe it. Oh, the Puerto Ricans are Israelites, the Dominicans are Israelites, the, the North American Indians, the uh, Seminole Indians. Are, nah, man, come on. Yeah. The Lord said he's going to work a work in your days that you won't believe, though it be told you. That happened back during the time of Paul, Peter, the disciples, and it's happening right now today. So let's read on in the document. The Peruvians, when first discovered by the Spaniards, had already attained a high degree, a high degree of civilization. And it would appear from a passage of Gomorrah's history of the Indies that the Spaniards were struck by the resemblance of some of the tribes of Indians in that part of America to Jews. Right, because they were, they were amazed. They couldn't believe it. Why? Because the, the, the Israel didn't, the, the Israel, the Jews didn't come over here. It was the Israelites that came over here. And they left relics of themselves and they had customs of themselves. Why did they leave Assyria to go into a further country wherever mankind dwelt, where they can keep the law, statutes, and the commandments that they never kept in their own land? So where did they get those customs from? They were, those were customs that were given to them. Why? Because they were Israelites. Go ahead. The interpreter of the Codex of Vaticanus is of the opinion that the ceremonies of the Mexicans as well as their sacrifices may be urged as proof of their being descended from the Jews. Romans 8 and 16. Oh, hey, hey, hey. No, that's the spirit, man. Ro Romans chapter 8, verse 16. This is all spiritual. Yeah. Romans chapter 8, verse 16. The spirit itself bears witness with our spirit. What does that mean? That goes hand in hand with the scripture Elder Manatazak read earlier, yep, right. where it spoke about the, the, uh, the uh, uh, Israelite foreigners that, that didn't have the laws, but when they kept certain things, it was a law unto themselves, meaning that the, the laws bear witness within themselves that they were Israelites. So read that again. Right. It says the spirit, it's, the spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. And if children, then ears, ears of the Most High, and joint ears with Yahweh Shai. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. And I heard, I hit these, I said I hurt, I guess it's through the spirit. I did hurt some of you guys' feelings through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. But I, I, what I meant to say was I hit some of these points in, uh, in, in, on the comment board before you uh, faggots uh, deleted, you know, um, the, the uh, other channels we had. Um, and I was hitting you assholes with, uh, you know, with, with, with uh, some of the information we give you now. And I will put scriptures like that, Romans 8 and 16, to show that the spirit of the Lord bears witness with the people that were already here. You know, the uh, Boricua, Taino, Inca, Mayan, Ruben, uh, Seminole Indians, uh, uh, Native American Indians, and so on and so forth, that we are the Israelites also. All right. And, and you guys, then didn't, didn't, didn't you never addressed that issue. You just kind of circumvented that issue. So go ahead, brother. Hold on. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. All right. The assertion of Adair, Adair. Which is, uh, which is uh, James Adair, which was, uh, uh, um, uh, he was Scottish, and he came over here. He spent time with the North, so-called North American Indians. And, he, and his book, um, um, what's his book called? Black American Indians. No, no, um... History of the of, of the North American Indian or history of the Native American Indian, right. something like that. And he went into the whole history of of from the way they dressed to the Hebrew that they were using. Yep. The and man, the, 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 man Sabbath. Yeah, he 